that I will abide by the code of conduct contained in the fifth schedule to the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, that I will not allow my personal interest to influence my official conduct or my official decisions, that I will preserve taking of new judges for the Federal Capital Territory High Court. The Federal Capital Territory High Court, if not the busiest of all the High Courts, in the Federation is really a very, very busy High Court. It is not meant for somebody who is lazy. If you are lazy-minded and you are appointed to the court, please you better brace up. 
there is a lot of work in the court. Although they have some few stations outside the capital itself, but yet the court is almost day in, day out, very busy. So I urge those of you who have just taken the oath to see that you protect the oath. It's not just uh, a ceremony of taking the oath. But remember, you are binding yourself to do all the oath has required you to do or to perform. If not for anybody, if not for anyone else's concern, look at the concern and the promise you have taken before the Nigerian population because this will be televised and all the Nigerians will see that yes, you have taken that oath. But more important is the oath that you have taken in the name of your creator, God. So help me God. All right, God will help you. But the decision for you to do whatever you want to do is your own. When you will be stretching your hand to collect money, it is not good that he sent his angels to come and put your hand to collect the money. It's your own whimsical thinking and the perception that that is the only way you think you can do the right thing, which is really wrong. You are being paid. If the payment you have given is not adequate enough, leave that job. Go to another place, you'll get a better payment. Now, judges all over the world are known to be respected. But you know, respect deserves respect. If you don't respect yourself, no one else will respect you. Please respect yourself. Please respect the oath you have just taken. Not only for the purposes of being queried here by somebody here. Remember, you are creator, you have made that promise between you and your creator. And you are going to be questioned. Let us have the fear of God, please. Once you do your things right, no Jupiter can stop you from progressing forward up to the time you come to your retirement and you retire peacefully. But uh, if you think taking money from people is all that you are here to do, well, is, is, is wrong, you are misleading yourself, and uh, before you die, I'm just telling you, before you die, God will show you. <clears throat> now, limit your expectations. You cannot have everything at a time. At the same time, all in all, no. You have your own capability, you have your own capacity. What is destined for you is for you. No one else can take it. Have that belief. But uh, when we find ourselves in different conditions, we decide to change our heart, we decide to change our actions. It will never help us. Be what you are. And allow people to know you as what you are. Don't accept changes, accept for good. If changes are for good, yes, why not? Accept them for good. But taking money from people 
when they have cases before you, is not good. It will destroy you. It will tarnish your image. It will tarnish your everything. Even your children, when they see them outside, they will gossip. Even the shirt he is wearing, if not because of us, he would not have been wearing that shirt. Hey. So please, uh, don't jeopardize yourself. Don't jeopardize your future. Don't jeopardize your family. Be what you are. Remain what you are. God will take care of you. Amen. Well, in this kind of, we don't make uh, long speeches. We allow you to be guided first by your conscience and secondly by the oath you have just subscribed to. Let it guide you. Let your conscience guide you. Is what I am, what I intend to do, or what I am doing, is it really correct? Is it right? Is it legal? Should I do it? Should I continue to pursue it? So be a judge in your own course so that you decide very well for your own self. If anything is wrong, and you have the chance to advise or to stop it, please stop it or advise that it should be stopped. If you don't, you are participating in the wrong. So please uh, let us uh, advise our brothers, sisters, who have just been sworn in. Although you may have been uh, doing that job, maybe in the lower courts for some time, well, this is completely a different cattle. When you are a magistrate, when you are in the uh, department, uh, the, the justice department, Ministry of Justice, when you are on your own, it's completely different from where you are coming to now. Where you are coming to is exclusively a reserved area for reserved persons. If you decide not to be reserved, okay, they will preserve you. <laughs> and you know when a human being is preserved, you know what it means. So please, I urge you to hold to the oath of office you have just sworn to. You can see that the very small number of us gathered here are witnessing what we have sworn to. It will be televised, or it is even being televised now. The whole world is looking at you. When there is a petition, when there is a complaint against X, 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 Y, they will say, ah, but when he was being sworn, this is what he undertook. They will remind you. Because you can never forget these kind of things. If you ask me to change my school tradition in my secondary school days, uh, over 40, I will be able to tell it right off head right now. So it's just the same. So please don't deviate. Please, we urge you, don't deviate. Sky is your limit. Sky is your limit. Now, um, that is how almost all of us started. But keep to your conscience. Very important. Don't allow somebody to divert your attention on irrelevances. You know what you are coming here for. Stick to it. Do it. 
and you will be safe. Even if somebody wants to destroy it, believe me, he will not. Because God will not allow that kind of thing to happen to you. But do the right thing to anybody, irrespective of what, do the right thing. Let anybody say whatever he wants to say. You are doing the right thing as far as you are concerned. Well, it's not a long speech making uh, event. All I urge you is uh, to respect the oath you have just subscribed to so that uh, no one, no one will have any cause to write a comma on you. For the 40, 50 years you will spend. Yes, I'm getting to about 40 years, but I cannot yet say because I've not finished. But up to today, I have not got anybody to say a comma on me. I have not yet finished. I may see a lot of commas. But you have to guard yourself. Be the person you are. Don't allow deviation. Don't. Then you will end up well. And it is our prayer that the way you are starting well, we hope you will go through well and you will end up well. I wish all of you the best and I wish you a safe journey. Not only to let you up, but to the office you are going. Through the office, safe journey. Thank you very much. Thanks for checking out Symphony on YouTube. Please be sure to subscribe and like our videos for updates.